were sobering examples of what mechanized warfare could do to human beings. Rifleman Arthur Russell was, or had been, a magnificent specimen of manhood, six feet tall. There was not a mark on him, yet he was helpless as a child. When I returned about a month later, I found Russell trying to walk. His speech was slowly returning, a slow, halting speech full of stammers. But I doubt if he ever again became a fully fit man. The symptoms were often tied to an event on the battlefield. The soldier who bayoneted an enemy in the face developed a facial tick. This French soldier became hysterical at the sight of an officer's red hat. <laughs> 